Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Magic Mermaid and we're about to get into the Aquarius March mid-monthly tarot scope reading which means that this reading is for mid-March up until mid-April. So like the second week in April. Okay. Um, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Before I get started, you guys make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it and you subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you want to follow me on social media, you can find that information in the links down below in the description box. As well as personal booking information so you want to you know get a pre-recorded reading a live reading i do voice note text message readings psychic readings um i got something for everybody so just click click the link down below and yeah um but without further ado we're going to see what's going on for aquarius in the month of march into april mid-march to mid-april what is going on with all of my aquarius sun moon and rising signs okay what do we have for aquarius mid-march to mid-april okay i'm gonna take these cards we have the ten of wands and we have the will of fortune this automatically makes me feel like aquarius um, it is your responsibility to make some changes in your life right now, okay? So, you know, you're feeling the pressure, you're feeling like, you know, um, hard work, like you're trying to make some changes, you're trying to make things shift. This could have to do with your own habits or your own behaviors of what you're trying to change, or you could be trying to change things in your external you know circumstances maybe you're trying to make some changes so that you can move somewhere or something like that okay um i also feel like all the hard work that you're putting in right now is creating change okay so what's going on for aquarius excuse me <laughs> what is going on for aquarius Okay, changes that are causing you to leave something behind. So you're leaving something behind. For a lot of you, I feel like these are old patterns and behaviors that you're leaving behind. You're walking away from this. You're saying this no longer serves me for me to act this way or, you know, behave in a certain manner. You know, it doesn't really help me. It's kind of self-sabotaging. So I'm leaving that behind. I'm making the necessary changes so that I can move forward in my path and in my growth okay okay what's going on with aquarius mid march to mid april mid march to mid april Mid-March to mid-April. I'm sorry, guys. What's going on with Aquarius? Mid-March to mid-April. Okay. And so there's a new beginning here. There's a new path. There's a new journey opening up for you, Aquarius. I do feel like because of you shedding these old ways, these old patterns, these old behaviors, you're now on a new path. You're on a new journey. So it feels like completely new territory with everything that you do just because you have a whole different perspective. Your perspective has shifted. Your paradigm has shifted. So the way that you experience things and the way that you see things is completely different. You know, I feel like you left some, you really worked through some triggers. And so because you don't view things through your triggers or you don't hear things through your triggers anymore you hear them in a whole different type of way so this creates a new beginning in your love life so some of you could be dealing with a gemini person um they could be gemini sun moon or rising they could have gemini anywhere in their chart um but strong gemini placement here it does not have to be gemini but this is a love relationship that it starts a new beginning in your love life okay 
So whether that is a brand new relationship or the relationship that you already had is renewed and it's better. Okay. Um, and then we have the King of Swords. So this is all about clarity and, you know, having a logical mind and making a decision. Okay. Clarifier for the Ten of Wands. Okay. So um, the Hierophant, which represents Taurus. Okay. So um, there could be a Taurus person who is around you, Aquarius, who is you know um impactful in your life but for a lot of you this is saying that you it's your responsibility to be committed to making these changes okay whatever these changes are you have to be committed to it okay you have to be committed to doing the work like it's not like you're gonna do the work one day and then okay good the work is laid out for you um, or or the situation just works out for you. It's like, no, every day consistently you have to be committed to um, working on yourself and being aware of yourself. Clarifier for the will of fortune. Clarifier for the will of fortune. Okay, yes. And then because that you are being committed to doing this work, then changes do happen, okay? So this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is things, this is progress. This is things moving forward rapidly and quickly. And it's like good news. It's like good energy coming in. So it's like these, these changes do begin to take effect. Because you're making internal changes, you start to see it ex affect your external circumstances. Clarifier for the Eight of Cups. Clarifier for the Eight of Cups. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, Eight of Pentacles is telling me that you, because you start to see changes happen all around you, I feel like you are like, let me really, let me continue to work on this. Let me continue to incorporate these lessons, you know. It's just like, whatever I'm learning, I'm going to keep following this information. I'm going to keep paying attention to this information. I'm going to keep being aware. I'm going to keep, you know, learning from my mistakes and doing better. You know, it's like, I'm not going to keep repeating the same mistakes. I'm moving forward. I'm leaving those lessons that I've learned. I can leave this behind now because I really have learned. I don't need to continue to be tested. The universe doesn't need to continue to put tests in front of me to see will I fall into ego traps. No, because now I understand that I'm, that I'm being tested and that I can't fall into the trap every time that it happens. Clarifier for the full card. Yes. Okay, so this is a new sense of self because this is the hermit card. It's all about self-reflection, okay, and, you know, an inner journey, you know, being alone or reflecting on yourself. So it's like the full, and so, which is a new journey. So it's like a new sense of self, like who you see yourself as, like, is it's new because you are letting things go. You are moving on. You're moving forward. You're, you know, you're really shedding it's like a snake when it sheds its skin. It's like after that, they feel like a whole brand new snake. So it's like, that's how you feel. You like, you're like, I feel like a brand new person. Like I'm completely different from the way I used to think. The way I used to think, I can't even believe that I used to think like that. Or I can't even believe that I used to act like that. Or I can't even believe that I was behaving like that because now I don't even think that way. I think like things can be handled in a much higher vibrational way and you're acting on that okay so clarifier for the lovers card says the chariot yes and so things very quickly move forward in your love life in your love relationship um you know you meet someone and this is like your soulmate this is the perfect person for you this is someone that you definitely can see yourself with long term if you're already in a relationship then Things in your current relationship start to move forward very quickly in a positive way. You start to feel like you have a victory in your love life, okay? You really just feel like, finally, like we're on the same page. Things are flowing. Things are moving. Things are growing. We're both happy, okay? It's like 
definitely linked up. Clarifier for the King of Swords. Yes, indeed. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, which is practicality. But this is just about, you know, clarity. It's like understanding yourself, Aquarius, as this person who is, you know, I, I have everything that I need. Like, I'm, I really am a queen. And this can go feminine or masculine either way. Like, I really am a king. Like, now I see myself as who I truly am because I let go of those things that are not me. You know, maybe I was taught them. Maybe I learned them. Maybe, you know, they're just patterns that come from family. But that is not who I am to my core. That's not who I came here to be. And I'm really understanding that it's time for me to step into my higher self, you know, and just be my higher self and be the highest version of me. Okay, so let's get your advice, Aquarius. What is the advice for Aquarius mid month, March to April? What is the advice? Say? What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, what's the advice for Aquarius, please? Oh, what's the advice for Aquarius? Mid March to mid April. What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, Six of Swords. Um, moving forward, it's time to move on. Change, growth. Six of Swords is definitely, definitely growth. This is moving from one place to another. Okay. So a lot of the time it is an actual physical move, but it doesn't have to be. This can be you spiritually, your spirit moving from one space to another space and growing into another space. What is the advice for Aquarius mid-March to April? What is the advice for Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. Okay, Knight of Swords. Okay, it's like growing in the way that you communicate, in the way that you talk to people, in the way that you check people, you know, because, you know, you, sometimes you do got to check people, but it's about the way you say it. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. So Aquarius, this is something to do with your, the way that you communicate is like moving away from communicating in one way, whether that's screaming and yelling and throwing tantrums and being rude or being disrespectful. And then you're moving, maybe you're moving into something where as you are actually communicating in a healthy way, okay? It's really like you're respecting other people's opinions. You're respecting the perspective that other people have. You're respecting other people's experiences, okay? This is what Spirit is telling you to do. This is your advice. So, advice for Aquarius, yes, and change. Death, transformation, okay? It's like moving on, moving on from your old self, changing the way that you communicate, and just overall having a complete death. And transformation this is dark night of the soul energy it's like really going into your shadows and figuring out well why am I communicating like this you know where did this come from where does this stem from and when I do that what triggers it like what is that point like what is what is usually being said or being felt when I blurt these things out or when I react in these manners clarifier for the six of swords so very much focus on internal growth at this time, Aquarius. Queen of Cups, okay. Um, six of this is clarifying the Six of Swords, which is telling me that you're moving on to being more nurturing and more loving. You know, whatever, whatever, however you were before, it just was not nurturing enough. It's not true to your core because actually you are a little bit more nurturing and more loving than you actually show yourself to be. Clarifier for the Knight of Swords. It's also like using your intuition, Aquarius, knowing what you need to move on from. You know, it's like, it's literally like you already know what it is that you need to move on from. Clarifier for the Knight of Swords, please. 
clarifier for the Knight of Swords. Seven of Wands. So this is about defense and, you know, trying to protect your position. But this is clarifying the Knight of Swords, which is a conflict and argument card. This is also about, like, fighting to keep yourself. So it's about being combative, being, always having a power struggle, always having a conflict or, you know, the way that you communicate is very combative. It's about moving on from being combative to being more understanding, being more compassionate, being more loving, being more nurturing, being more open, okay? Clarifier for the death card. Because it's like spirit, it says, it's like you have to, it's time to make a change, Aquarius. It's time for a change. I feel like this change is like past due. Yeah, eight of cups, death move on from this this way of being whatever whatever this pain is whatever this trigger is that you've been holding it as your identity you've been carrying it with you you've been taking it with you this is my identity this is just who i am this is how i am no it's not you taught you were taught this you were taught to be that way you learned this this is not who you truly are you just have made that a part of your identity and you've been carrying it with you and it's time to let that go because that's not who you are that's not who you are not even a little bit that's not who you are so let's get the final message for aquarius it's time for big shifts, Aquarius. Big shifts. Big shifts. Okay. Um, final message for Aquarius. Immediately you got romance. Romance is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Lots of romance coming in for you, Aquarius. Okay. It's saying like you're making these necessary changes and it's immediately going to affect your love life. Your romantic life with your partner is going to instantly get 10 times better. The communication, the intimacy, you know, all of that. The connection is going to get 10 times better just because of this, this like inner work that you're doing. This is big, 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 big shifts. Big inner work. Sensuality, your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I pray. This is you, Aquarius, being in the moment and enjoying life and really just having joy, having peace. Like, I laugh, I play, like, this is funny, this is good, this this is this food tastes so good, or this bed is so soft, or this shower is so relaxing, or this walk is so nice outside. Um, this movie is so funny, it makes me laugh. I really enjoy spending time with my partner. That's what that energy is. This is what you're learning, is like, you don't have to be mad. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to be rude and disrespectful. You don't have to be defensive. Okay, organization, purpose, planning, efficiency now come to me so easily. So you're definitely, you know, you're getting your life organized. You're figuring out who it is that you truly are, Aquarius. Like you are like shedding all of these layers and you're like, let me get to the core. Let me get to the core being of who I am, you know. I, I, I need to get back to me, like the true me, who I really am, okay. So you're figuring out what needs to go because I think you're figuring out that it's a lot that needs to go, okay? So that's your reading, Aquarius. I really hope that this resonates with you. Please let me know what you guys think. Drop your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.